Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm very excited because the Christmas season is coming and I love to make things for that time of year. So all of the things I'm going to show you, I have links below your YouTube screen. So you scroll down to the description section, click on the words either show more or the down arrow and it will expand open and I'll have all kinds of links and playlists that you can use. You can uh, see projects that maybe didn't have Christmas fabric in it, but you can use Christmas fabric to make all of those items. Now I'm going to start with things that you can use on your dining table. These are Christmas tree napkins. They are really easy to make. I know it looks complicated, but I've really simplified this folding process. You might have seen other versions out there, and the way you fold them, it's very, very complicated. But trust me, mine's very easy. Then you have dinner napkins. You can buy what we call fat quarter packs, and it's got anywhere from four to five sections of fabric in it. They're 18 inches to maybe 21 inches in size. And in this particular pack, there were five different pieces. So you could buy two fat quarter packs and make enough napkins for your dining table. Down here, these are really fun. All of these that I'm showing you are beginner projects. These are drink coasters. I bought large print Christmas fabric, cut out the little sayings or designs, and created these little funky drink coasters that you can use on your dining table or on your coffee table. Mug rugs are very popular during the holiday season. Well, you're thinking, what's a mug rug? It's a tiny placemat where you can put a drink on it, a hot cup of coffee, and maybe a little dessert or a light snack. This one just has little squares and a Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is really easy to draw. This is a placemat, and remember, you can make any of my placemats out of Christmas fabric. This is using jelly roll strips, which are two and a half inch wide strips. They come in a little round pack like this. And you just stitch them together on a diagonal pattern. Then here is a placemat with a Christmas tree cut out and stitched around the edges on. This is really simple to do. And then here is just some funky little Santa and reindeer fabric and it has a little pocket on here for you to slip a napkin in it or the utensils. If you're a beginner, a pot holder is a great way to start learning how to sew. So here are just a few of pot holder ideas that you can do. Now over here is an oven mitt. In this tutorial I show you how to make it to fit your hand. Some of them are too big for some people or not big enough. And down here, this is the easiest oven mitt to make, right? This one. So I really like this one. So check out those links down below. We live in a home that's an open floor plan. So if people are sitting in your living room or dining room, they can see right into your kitchen. So you kind of have to keep your kitchen picked up because otherwise everybody sees what you got. So you can accessorize your kitten, kitchen and brighten it up for the holiday season. You can make hanging pot holders out of Christmas fabric. You can make a matching towel. This is a plain towel with this fabric stitched on the bottom. And these are refrigerator oven door handles. There's just a Velcro closure. These are really easy to make and they just brighten up your whole kitchen. When you're decorating your kitchen, don't forget to decorate your toaster. This toaster cover is very, very basic. It does have piping on it, but you don't have to put it on. Just select whatever, whatever Christmas fabric you want and it will just look beautiful. At Christmas time, I make a lot of gifts that's for the kitchen. So I'll make matching sets of pot holders and towels. These are so easy and quick to make. Sometimes 
I'll make a towel and I'll use my embroidery machine on it. If you don't have an embroidery machine, you can still do this portion. And then I will find a cookie cutter that will go with the theme of the fabric. I'll just tie some ribbon around it and pin it onto the towel and it makes a wonderful gift. Now this is a, a, a way you can maybe serve your bread at the table. It's just a plain wicker basket that I had and I made a little basket liner to go inside of it. It also makes a great hostess gift. Let's say you're invited to someone else's house. You can put some fresh baked goods in it that you either made or bought, have this little basket liner and present it to the homeowner as a gift. I love these. These are called bottle aprons. Now you can make it with or without the Christmas fabric, but let's say someone is into gourmet cooking and they like special oils and sauces. You could present it to them as a gift and put little bottle aprons on it. These are wine bags and this is very simple project to make. Again, this is a beginner's project. So it has a little tie up here to tie around up at the top. And this is what it looks like when something's not in it. It has a boxed shape bottom so that the bottle will fit in there. And then there's just some little ribbon attached in the seam so that you can tie it on up at the top. This Christmas apron is made out of panel fabric. In other words, the shape of this apron is printed onto fabric. So I purchased it just as you see it. It also comes with ties, waist ties, and the neck strap that you can stitch on. Now, it comes with instructions when you buy it, but if you click on the link that I made this in, I will show you how to put lining on the back. So you can pick any panel fabric apron that you want and I'll show you how to put them together. They're almost exactly the same constructing them. So go to Etsy.com and enter Christmas apron panel fabric and all kinds of links will show up. If you want an apron like I'm wearing, this is my standard bib apron uh, tutorial. In other words, you buy any standard bib apron pattern. There's every pattern book has them. You can find them all over the internet. And you can use Christmas fabric. You can select one of my applique patterns, like this little Christmas wreath, and fuse it on. This is a very simple apron to make. So when you want to decorate your dining room for Christmas, think about making something like this. This is a wall hanging with a Christmas tree design on it. These are little fabric yo-yos. They're just circles of fabric gathered up. They're really easy. It's done by hand, and then you can stitch all of your buttons on. Now you can use your sewing machine to stitch the buttons on, or you can do it by hand, and it has a little loop up at the top so that you can hang it on the wall. Often, I will make slip covers to put over my existing sofa pillows. This is really easy to make. It's got a little opening on the back so that you can either put your existing pillow inside or you can even put a pillow form inside of it. You can make this with or without the pom-pom fringe. This pillow, you can make it as a slip cover if you want or you can just have it all one fabric on the back. This is a applique wreath. In other words, it's fused onto the background fabric and then you just stitch around the outer edges. This pillow is probably one of my more popular Christmas pillows. I show you three different versions and it one says Noel, Joy, and Ho Ho Ho. And again, you use that little yo-yo with a button in it to replace the O's and you just freehand draw your own letters. This is a Christmas tree skirt. It has an opening in the back and you just wrap it around the base of your tree. The edges of this is a scalloped edge. 
This is really easy to make. I have very simple ways of drawing these edges out. Just one cut and you have your pattern. You can make this with or without the pom-pom fringe. This is also a Christmas tree skirt. The pattern for this is very basic, very easy to draw. Only takes a couple of minutes to draw this little pattern. These are easy to stitch on. And you can put Christmas fabric on the back. You can flip it over and change sides. Again, it has the little opening in the back so that you can wrap it around the base of your tree. Here are some of the decorations that you can make. These are fun little gnomes. Set them up on a shelf, even set them on your dining room table if you want. And there's other little hanging tree ornaments here using just scrap fabric. If you like to knit, you probably have some scrap yarn you can use up to make these little hanging gnomes. And then again, using just whatever leftover Christmas fabric you have to make the other hanging decorations. And then you can make this little uh, circular item with a, with a uh, ruffle and bow on it, put a loop, you can hang it on your tree or on the wall. If you like to cross stitch and you've made a lot of these little designs, you can use them to make Christmas tree ornaments or you can put them inside of a de decorative basket and display it like this. Now when you're starting to wrap your presents or you're making other nice decorations, here are some simple bows. These are not difficult. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I have a tutorial on all these bows. Really simple. This is a fabric wreath and it's just tubes of fabric that you make and you stuff them with po uh, polyfill stuffing. And then you can put whatever decorative bow you want and it's got a little loop at the top. Now here's another one. And the link on this one may not be down below just yet because it hasn't been quite released, but it's going to be released very, 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 very soon. So this is a really easy wreath using Christmas fabric scraps. No sewing in this project at all. And then I love this. This is a little doorbell chime. I used fabric scraps, only two seams, and these little bells, you get at Dollar Tree, and then you can put what other, what any other decor you want on it. I also have several patterns on how to make a Christmas stocking. I have always wanted a Christmas bear. I just think these are so adorable. Now this is not a beginner's project. I would recommend that you at least be an intermediate sewer, but this is, if you are an intermediate, it's pretty easy for you to, to do. It's actually got two tutorials. If you want to put the little vest on it, that's in a separate tutorial. This is a rag wreath. No sewing involved. You start out with a wire wreath form that you can get at Dollar Tree, Walmart, Joann's. Use up your scrap Christmas fabric. And this is so simple to make. Your kids can do this. And you can even make a smaller version by purchasing the smaller rings. I mostly see the smaller ones at Dollar Tree. Down here, this is another project that your kids can do. It's a string of lights, and I did the rag wreath style of tying small pieces of fabric on it. So you can put this down the center of your dining table. It's battery operated. Put it on your mantle, whatever you want to do with it. These are pillowcases made out of Christmas quilting fabric. The two here without the border on it is a really easy project. This takes about 10 minutes, a great beginner's sewing project. And then if you want to, you can make the same pillowcase and add this little border on it. I just love this one. This one is really, really pretty. This is a little fabric Christmas gift bag. You can make these any size. So this it has a box shaped bottom, little ribbon tie. You can make them any size you want. So here's the little one, and then there is a bigger size one, and then even bigger, and then really big. 
Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I've inspired you to make some of these. Don't forget to check out that list below for the video tutorial links. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. See you next time.